Hayat Sindi was born in 1967 in Mecca, Saudi Arabia and raised by a loving and caring parent and a family of eight. Hayat is a very enthusiastic woman. Her love for knowledge and learning was planted in her as she grew and has led to where she is now. Since she was in elementary school, she liked to read books on scientists such as Ibn Sina al-Khawarizmi Einstein and books that were more advanced for her age. She had faith in her dreams and her ability to achieve them. After she graduated from high school, she was accepted into medical school in Saudi Arabia and there she discovered her love of pharmacology, which was not available field in Saudi universities at that time. So she decided to go to London to dive further into the subject. Her father encouraged her to go to London in 1991. At that time, she was not accepted in King's College due to her lack of English. It took her two full years to learn English. She finished her bachelor degree in pharmacology. Later, she changed her field to biotechnology because she thought that it is a very interesting topic to learn about. Then, she received a scholarship to Cambridge University where she completed her PhD in biotechnology. Now, she is one of the world's leading biotechnologists. In 1995, Dr. Cindy had earned bachelor degree in pharmacology from King's College in London. In 2000, she obtained PhD degree from Cambridge University. She was the first Muslim woman to work in Harvard labs. In addition, she was the first female in the Gulf area to obtain PhD in biotechnology. Dr. Cindy spent her career improving healthcare and developing countries through the technology. She participated and invited to many conferences in her life nationally and internationally. Dr. Cindy received many awards for her scientific discoveries and her academic excellence from the United Kingdom, United States and Saudi Arabia. Moreover, Dr. Cindy invented many devices, among these MARS, which stands for Magnetic Acoustic Resonance Sensor and Breast Cancer Section Device. MARS is a ship by which a drop of body fluids, such as tears, saliva, or blood, can be analyzed through an ultrasound light in a minute. It's size as a post stamp, and it only costs a penny. This device has saved and will keep saving millions of people's lives by monitoring their health through a cheap device. This device can be used by anyone and it is for adults and children. The other machine that she invented is for early detection of breast cancer. Last year, she has launched the Institute of Imagination and Ingenuity in Saudi Arabia, Jeddah. Its mission is for helping the scientists to foster their ideas. Dr. Cindy was a UNESCO Goodwill and ambassador for science education. She was invited to serve in the UN Secretary General Scientific Advisory Board. Recently, she became one of the first group of women on Saudi Arabia Consultative Assembly, the Shura Council, an advisory body to King Abdullah. Dr. Hayat Sindi have influenced the biotechnology field, more specifically nanotechnology. In 2012, she was one of the 150 women who shaped the world. I do admire her because of her great inventions that she have made to the world. I feel that all women should strive and be like her because she is a great model to the world. Eventually, Dr. Hayata Singh is a brilliant and imaginative woman who has a dream and was following the correct path. That's why she inspired me and for sure many young people to change the world like she did.